How did you come up with the idea for Skeleton Crew and what inspired your vision? So how do we come up with the idea for Skeleton Crew and what inspired it? I think the inspiration for me is the feeling of being a 10 year old kid and wandering off into a field and hoping that you're gonna stumble across some sort of adventure. And you know, the movies that we grew up with, you'd find a buried pirate's treasure or you get abducted by aliens or something like that. You know, that's what I always hoped would happen to me. And to turn that into a show where a group of kids are all sort of longing for adventure and end up sucked into the Star Wars galaxy. Yeah, and then that adventure leads to an actual adventure which is yeah. really <laughs> scary and dangerous and they're in way over their heads. Yeah. So being a bored 10-year-old kid, I think, is the... And getting in trouble. <laughs> and getting in trouble. When does the story take place in the Star Wars timeline? And was there a particular reason for setting the story in that time period? Yeah, it takes place... The show takes place in the time period just after Return of the Jedi, when the New Republic is trying to establish, uh, you know, a, a better galaxy for everyone, but it's, it's, it's not easy. And we've seen that in other shows like Mandalorian and Ahsoka, and we just felt that for our show, with the kids being lost in the galaxy, it would be a great time because there's not necessarily a big powerful force to um, save them. Whether it's the, the Old Republic or even the Empire, um, they get lost, and that's why we run into pirates. So it's kind of like a lawless time. Yeah, it's kind of a lawless, chaotic time, which is a very dramatic time for a group of kids to get stranded. Yeah, and then we were also working with John Favreau and Dave Filoni really closely, and they had already done so much great work in developing that time period and still yeah. are so it was really it made awesome. sense for us to just slot in there with them yeah. as well um, will we see new parts of the galaxy throughout the span of the series any new creatures or droids uh, will we see uh, more parts of the galaxy and creatures and droids yes many we go to lots of different planets um, spaceports yeah it's a lot of uh, it's always it's basically all new lots of creatures lots yeah. of droids yeah we only go to new places i think yeah we yeah. only go to new places so yes the answer is yes love it do you have to be a star wars fan or have any knowledge of the galaxy to enjoy the show or what do you feel what makes it relatable do you have to be a star wars fan to enjoy the show i think no and that's Part of the story that we're telling is this is a group of kids that don't necessarily realize what kind of a big universe they're a part of. And it's only as they get lost and try to find their way home that they sort of experience the Star Wars galaxy for the first time. So yeah. in but, the same but, way. Yeah, but if you are a big fan, there's lots there for you to pick up on and you'll be kind of ahead of the kids understanding better than they do what's going on. Kind of in that way where, you know, in a movie you're saying to the characters, like, don't go in that room because you know the danger. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to do any homework if you don't want to before you watch the show. Uh, tell us about casting Jude Law and what he brings to the character of Jod. Uh, casting Jude Law was so easy. Uh, <laughs> he was perfect. He's who we From always our imagined. It was easy. Yeah. It was easy for us. He feels, there's, we've been saying it's this funny thing where he feels like he's kind of always been in Star Wars and we've just brought him back. Like, he just captures this, like, roguish charm that fits perfectly within the universe and also fits in perfectly with these four 10-year-old kids. Like, in a way, he feels like just a grown-up uh, <laughs> member of the skeleton crew as well. What did the search for the four young actors entail? How did you know when you found the perfect one to play the character you had written? Uh, it involved... Uh, so how do we find the four kids? It involved a lot of uh, watching of tapes. Um, and we had this idea of four characters in our head, these sort of like archetypal kids. And the thing that was challenging for us is that we had to sort of wait till someone came in who embodied the character that we were imagining. Because so many of the kids that came in were great and were great actors. But it's this different kind of patience where you just someone could be good and could do a good job, but they weren't quite the essence of the character that we wanted. So um, you just sort of have to be patient and hope that you know eventually that character is going to walk through the door. And the kids that we ended up casting brought so much more to the characters than what we thought, and we actually wrote uh, to them once they were cast, yeah. they tweaked things to to match who they were as people. Yeah. Um, so that it could sort of evolve and grow over time. 
Can you tell us about the production design and how it conveys the kids' journey? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I just did the casting one. Yeah, too. I mean, the production design <laughs> of the show is, it has to be at this, the bar is incredibly high because it's Star Wars. It has to both feel like Star Wars and just be really, really good. <laughs> like, that's kind of what the yeah. Star Wars thing is, is is excellence. Yeah. Um, and we just had an amazing team. I mean, from uh, Oliver Scholl to Doug Chang and all the people at, in the Lucas film team. Uh and then we, you know, we got to you get to include an X-wing, but then we had to create a new pirate <laughs> ship and yeah. create these these lands, and just being able to work with the caliber of artists that we got to work with was such a a, a treat and a gift. Yeah, because the team that we're working with is so good. There's never a question about the quality being there. For us, it's about distilling it down to the story that we're telling and making sure that the things that we build and the worlds that we design are telling the right part of the story and shape the evolution of the kids, you know, getting to understand the, the galaxy that they're a part of. Okay. Last question. What do you hope viewers to experience when they watch Skeleton Crew? <laughs> I hope that people who have seen a lot of Star Wars are reminded of the first time that they got to see Star Wars um, because you get to witness these kids experiencing it all for the first time. And then for... Uh, people who are seeing it for the first time. Yeah, we, we just want the show to be fun, exciting adventure. But like the original Star Wars movies, all that adventure and stuff, there's a little bit of kind of hopefully kind of deep meaning in there just about our actual lives that's kind of keeps it from being just kind of shallow fun. Yeah. And it actually kind of feels um, meaningful. Well, thank you both.